in the morning when you do this diagnostic of holding your breath, so you get to the hotel room, you do this mm -hmm. diagnostic, you hold your breath. Do you time it on a stopwatch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I time it on my watch. So what this is, is you can call it a bolt score, body oxygen level test. You can call it a control pod, call it whatever you want. All it is, is you take a breath in. We're going to relax. Okay, I thought we're we were doing a race. A I wanted to beat you and become the champion. We're gonna, I'm sure you will. <laughs> I beat James Nestor at breathing. <laughs> you take a calm breath in, okay? And I'll tell you what it is and then we'll maybe do it, which will make for terrible podcast time. <laughs> you guys can just snip it out. But we're just going to take a calm breath, not a okay. big breath. Calm breath in. To that point where it just stops when you're exhaling, you don't push the air out. It just naturally stops that neutral point. Okay. Just take it. We'll just practice this right now. Take a breath in. Just let the air out. There will be a point where it just naturally stops. Yeah. That's when you start the timer. Okay. On that neutral hold. So you just take a breath in and breathe out. I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to do this. So you don't take an extra big breath and breathe in again. Just breathe out to neutral. Hold your breath. Hold it. As you're holding your breath, the first point at which you feel resistance, that means a swallow, that means your diaphragm starts convulsing gently, that means you feel a buildup of pressure at the back. You have to be honest with yourself. This is not a maximum breath hold test. This is the very first point that you feel some palpable discomfort. Then you go back to normal breathing. So you won't be doing yourself any favors if you're cheating past that threshold. Okay. Yeah. So good. So what you want to get to is 40 seconds. And when you return to breathing, the way that you know you've gone too far is mm -hmm. when you go. <laughs> yeah. Your okay. return should be calm. You're not seeing me return. Okay. There is no effort. And so these are good gauges to know that you pushed it too far. Okay. So what you want to be going for is 40 seconds or more to be holding your breath. And you got 40 seconds. I think you pushed it a little too far. Really? Yeah. But um, most, I was waiting for that point of just feeling a little bit uncomfortable. And then most athletes, even elite athletes, get to 20 seconds when they first start doing this. And they've trained themselves to push through the pain. They compete and they win, but their bodies are not happy, <laughs> which is why so many athletes peak and then they're a complete mess after they stop competing. And that This happens with football players. This happens with baseball players and more. What most people do is about 15 seconds. 15 seconds? 15 seconds. You would be surprised, especially older people, especially people have respiratory problems. As I mentioned before, people with asthma and panic, about three to five seconds. If they have severe asthma and panic. So you just start to understand how dysfunctionally their breathing is, their CO2 tolerance, their ability for their lungs to extract oxygen, their nervous system, and more. Just because you got a low score, that is just a diagnostic, and it's a starting point to improve your breathing. This is not a competition. Do not compete with yourself. <laughs> we can get to stuff that is very competitive, if you'd like, but this test is just to tune in to how your body is responding. And another warning I want to be very, very clear about, do not take one number and think you're good to go. This changes in the morning, changes if your sleep is bad, changes if your sleep is good, changes after you eat and more. So you take these throughout the day, maybe three times a day. And after a week of recording that number, you average it. That's your number that you're working with. Does that make sense? Perfect sense. So, so take it at night, take it in the morning, take it at noon. And just put it in your phone, and then at the end of that week, you'll have your, your Bolt score, is what they call it. Patrick McEwen calls it that.